Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and in today's video, we are gonna talk about 5G, because you may have been searching and asking the question that, is 5G safe? And this question has been asked quite a lot over the past couple of years, and you know, that is a fair question, but hopefully in today's video, whilst we talk about 5G, we can give you some of the answers about whether it is safe or not. If you've stumbled across this video and you're thinking what is 5G and you're still not entirely sure what it is, then don't worry because what we have done is made a super clean introduction to exactly what 5G is and what 5G does. So if you look in the description below, that video will tell you everything. But let's dive in. One of the first big main questions is what is 5G radiation? And this is a question that people have been asking for quite a long time. There have been a lot of people concerned whether 5G 5G will give them health issues further on down the line and potentially give them something that they can't get rid of. First of all, you need to understand what is 5G radiation. It is cell phone network, so radio frequency radiation, so RFR. RFR is anything emitted in electromagnetic spectrum, so from microwave to x-rays to radio waves to light from your monitor or even light from the sun. RFR isn't inherently dangerous, so what comes next is under understanding in what situation that it might be. And then I suppose the next question is, is RFR harmful? And to check whether it's harmful, we need to know whether it falls into the F ionizing or non ionizing radiation. Simply put, any radiation that is non ionizing is too weak to break chemical bonds. That includes ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, and everything with a lower frequency like radio waves. Everyday technologies like power lines, FM radio, and Wi Fi also fall into this range. Frequencies above UV like X rays and gamma rays are ionizing according to the International Commission's on non ionizing radiation protection. RFR is non-ionizing radiation. And all the latest research on having a look at 5G does say that 5G will not cause any sort of health concerns. So hopefully this part of the video will now have just put your mind at ease. If it hasn't put your mind at ease though and you still want to go and detect some of this radiation levels yourself, you then need to go and buy some professional equipment to do this. There are such devices as EMF meters and then you can detect the RF radiation by yourself. These type of things are really easy to find on the internet and actually Amazon has a ton of these that you can actually go out and buy yourself. For those of you that have bought a 5G phone and are still worried about that 5G radiation, then here are some of the products that you can buy that might help you against this. You have a protection hood hat. There are a few anti-radiation phone cases, protection clothes, a protection blanket, and an anti-radiation hat. These are things that you can go out and buy yourself on Amazon, but that does not mean that these will work because 5G is not harmful to health or anything like that. So if you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like? And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you will see some tips and tricks on some of the latest mobile phones and some unboxings and reviews of the latest devices as well. So we will see you on the next video.